Okay, today I'm here to replace a high pressure switch. Let me get to the side of the unit that I can actually do some work. This unit isn't easy to work on from either side. Okay. Now both screws are missing. <laughs> One of my coworkers bypassed the switch when he was here last time. Okay, so I have no power coming into my unit. Next. We need to access. The system. Fan cycle controls in the way. I love it. Okay. Let's put the drill down. This door will just come right out. And here is our head pressure control. Now we're going to need to break it free. You don't want to hold it back so you don't damage. Now, so you don't lose too much refrigerant, get it off fast. It's pushing on the trader pin. Now we get our new one. It's easier. Get it. So it's on there. Now again, you're going to want to hold back a little wrench. As you tighten it.
usually you have more space here you don't now your wires you're gonna need to snake it through and into your electrical control compartment here's the first one and the second one our wires are up and in. We can take our old switches to the hood out. Oh, my freaking knee hurts. To go in to the back of the contactor. So now you have that side connected. So now it's got, it has to go through that switch before it comes up. This is the crankcase heater. This is line voltage. Oh, that's how you replace. Then you just strap all the wires back up. If I have to go get straps, you should have straps here. bubble test your fitting and then put your door back on that's how to change a high pressure switch on a system sometimes you'll have a low pressure switch that you're interrupting pop that back on Thermometer down, two screws, and this is right back on. Okay, well I just gotta get a strap real fast, tighten up these wires. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out.